welcome back to the small mill farmer today is a very uh anticipated video i've been making this for the past year it's chelsea and uh, myself we, we decided to go solar for our house and so uh this this video we're gonna we're gonna go from the very start of uh, the solar process through the very end we're gonna throw in some numbers and uh, well, you know, you guys can decide whether or not solar is right for you. But what, what's going to happen is first we're going to start with the sales pitch from this uh, solar company I went with. And then we're going to break down the numbers. From there, this company does a solar inspection where they come out, they look at your heater, they look at your AC, they look at your attic, make sure you have enough insulation up there. Then after that, they will install a new HVAC system because mine was like 30 years old. It was it was done completely inefficient. And then from there, uh, we will go through the actual solar installation. And then at the very end of the video, um, we will go over all the final numbers. I've got months and months of bills worth of data to show you whether or not solar is right for you guys. So anyway, uh, oh, also at the very end, I've got, I've got a special uh, promotion if any of you guys decide to go solar. Anyway, stay tuned. I hope you guys enjoy this very long, year long episode. Well, you can on the south, east, or west side. Right. You guys don't have an east or west, so you have south, which is getting direct sunlight. Mm -hmm. You can see the little partial green balloon on the bottom corner. That is that tree. And we overbuild these trees, probably an extra 100 feet, just to show in an hour for the same money that you're going to have to spend anyway. And if you're going to spend something, might as well own something for it, right? Exactly right, yeah. Okay, now, look like at that, obviously sounds good with you, Chelsea. Um, so far, does that sound like something that would work for you? Yeah. Okay. Maybe so. <laughs> well, we just got done with our first meeting with our solar guy. He answered a lot of questions. I was impressed. What did you think about that? I was impressed too. Yeah. I, I've i been thinking about going solar for a while now, but um, it's so expensive. That's my biggest concern is the expense. But he answered a lot of questions. I I don't really have... It was good. He's very good, very knowledgeable, good company. I've got no complaints so far. Um, yeah, I just... I'm kind of nervous because it's unknown. You know, I've, I've never done solar before, so... So here's a little bit of information on... Um, Chelsea and I go on solar. So I decided to go with a company called Shine Solar. They're not from Kansas. They're actually from Arkansas. I tried with two different solar companies here in Kansas. Each time, they stonewalled me. They wanted nothing to do with me. They wanted nothing to do with the city of Mulvane, the city I live in. So Kansas gets about 225 days of sun every year. Now, granted, you know, it changes a little bit here and there. So we're in a good area for some sun. They uh, told me that they would put in a 3.7 kilowatt system. Now, this whole system would cost right around $51,000. I know, that's a chunk of change. But... Chelsea and I decided to do it this year because this is the last year we can get a 30% tax credit. So with the total system costing $51,148 with 15% back of that on next year's taxes, we will get $15,344.40 back. We'll put that onto the note, which drops our total down to $35,803.60. So, with all of that being adjusted, um, our monthly payment on a 20-year note at 3.8% is right around $193 a month just for solar. Now, that works out great for us because our average utility bill is right around $220. Now granted, we're using a lot more electricity during the summer, and then during the winter, we're not using hardly any electricity, and that's just because we have you know, the AC going during the summer, AC's not going to, during the winter. We have um, a gas furnace and a gas hot water heater. Other than that, we're completely um, on, on, uh, on electricity here. So it works great for us to go solar. 
Now, uh, a couple good things about this is the solar panels have a warranty, and, and um, right around 25 years uh, is what they're expected to last. So overall, I feel pretty good about talking to Shine Solar, and they have been super helpful. They've answered every single question I've had. They haven't been pushy one step of the way. It's not like you're going to go buy a, a new car or something. You know, you get a bad salesman, they're super pushy, you know, and all, all that. But they've been fantastic ever since we started, ever since we've been looking at, at new companies and investigating here. We, we have shopped around, and this feels like the best company for us. So anyway, stay tuned, and uh, hopefully we'll see what the panels look like once they get on the house. So the next step in going solar is uh, our site survey. So Isaiah just showed up here. He's gone through the house. He's checked for uh, where the gas lines are, where the power lines are, attic access, as well as breaker box, at, breaker box access. Blah. So anyway, he's going to fly the drone, get a couple pictures from the air, and uh, get the entire roof mapped out for solar panels. So we're going to watch him just a little bit and we'll go from there. So what Isaiah is doing right now is he's checking out the attic, making sure we got proper insulation going on in there, doing a really thorough job, getting all kinds of pictures of everything. So far, so good. And here these guys are working. They they did a fantastic job coming out, putting in the heater, putting in the AC, putting in all that crap. They were very professional. They uh, were extremely kind. They stayed way late. I mean, here we are starting winter, and they knew they were taking out the heater. And um, they said, you know, we're not leaving until we get you heat. So these guys were very terrific, very excellent. No complaints about them at all. Very, very awesome dudes. And there's the new heater. Look at that, boys. Dang, that looks nice. And there's the uh, new outside unit. It surprises me how tall and skinny it is. I mean, like the old one, you can see the outline here. It's like, it's a huge, ginormous. But yeah, that was all installed, done, good to go. Hopefully it works for the summertime. Now here's the other thing, this thermostat is all touchpad, right? Look at this thing. It is freaking sweet. Weather, everything. It sends me emails to let me know what's going on with this system. So that is awesome. I woke up the other day with an email from my heater telling me everything was okay, and the average cost of last month's bill. How crazy is that? All right, I want to give you guys an update. It's been a couple months, and this is a very ongoing process with the whole solar installation. So for the most part, it, it's gone okay. I mean, everything with the solar company has gone phenomenal. They've come out and they've done their uh, insta insulation inspection. They've come out and done HVAC inspections and we are supposed to get a new heater, new AC, all that in about four more days, which is much needed because we have no heater, my AC died, my microwave died, and my dishwasher died all within the same two weeks. So we have space heaters right now in every single room keeping this house about 65 degrees. So we can't wait to get the new heater in in about four or five days. So, but getting back to the main problem. So uh, the city that I live in is Mulvane, Mulvane, Kansas, and they have been an absolute nightmare to work with. Anytime my solar company tries to do anything with them, they get stonewalled. For instance, they, they were set to go, everything was good, we were getting permits in place, and all of a sudden the city sends this to my solar company. That I kid you not. So this is under, let me read this here. This is the city of Mulvane 
installation and parallel operation of customer owned reno uh, renewable electric generator facilities so basically solar panels so we go all the way down here to number eight on codes and permits subsection B pitched roof mounted solar panels which are excuse me pitch roof mounted solar panels should be placed in a location least visible from the public street so my house faces south toward the street I also live where the road curves around on the east side of my house so the city came back and said yeah no you're not having any solar panels on the south side of your house which is the most sense because when when you're in the northern hemisphere your solar panels have to face the south to be most efficient right well the city doesn't want people to know you have solar <gasps> oh my gosh somebody went solar oh oh we can't tell anybody so we have been going back and forth back and forth with the city for a good month we came to an agreement they'll let me put solar panels on the north side of my house and even doing that was fighting tooth and nail. So, moving panels from the south side of the house to the north side of the house has decreased my efficiency by 23%. So, with a decrease in output power, I now have to increase the number of solar panels to get me at net zero on electricity. I'm not trying to get rich, I'm not trying to live off the grid. I'm just trying to create net zero where I don't have to have an electric bill. So this right here was the original cost of the panels, which was six. Uh, this included, you know, installation, um, a, like a 25 year warranty. Uh, anytime something happened, you know, they'd come out and fix it. No cost to me. HVAC system, whole nine yards. So this right here, whoop, original cost. Now, with the increase in panels, this is my new cost. So, thank you, City of Mulvane, for that. I really appreciate it. Um, I am not going to give up on this fight. I am going to write everybody I can think of, city council, mayor, um, county commissioners, you name it, local representatives, state representatives, the governor, I don't care. I'm going to get this thing. I'll even call PETA. I don't care. I'm going to get this changed. Are you tired and frustrated with all of these extension cords? Do your extension cords ever run too short? Then check out this new product by EcoFlow. It is the new portable solar generator. So if you sign up using the link below for a whole solar system, you get this nice solar generator for free. Look at this bad boy. This right here has one, I think 1.1, 1.2 kilowatts of storage. And I use the living crap out of this thing all over the yard, not even joking. Oh my goodness, I think I need to use a light. Whoa, check that out, that's nice. Oh my goodness, I think I need to use my heat gun. Oh, that's nice, oh my goodness. I think I need to use my heat gun and the light at the same time. What? That's crazy. But all honest to the guys, I, I really do use this thing to run my grill. I mean, this is pretty sweet. It tells you how many, how much storage you have, how many watts are coming out. So right now, we're, the, the grill is using about 240, 230 watts of output. And I can grill on this thing all day. Now let's say if, if uh, you know, I didn't, didn't think that I'd have enough battery to get me through a whole day of grilling, you know, I could easily hook up this solar panel that comes with it. This is a 60 watt solar panel. You plug it into the back. I mean, it doesn't get much simpler than that, guys. So, see how the T-bones are doing. I am going to type up a nice little letter here 
to anybody that's going to listen. I'm going to start with the mayor, the city manager, city council, and then from there, I, I, Trump, Obama, Jerry Moran. It don't matter. Uh, Jeff Estates, Jeff Zogelman. It don't. It don't matter who it is. I, I'm going to. I'm going to just type a letter to anybody that will listen to my proposal. I am going to fight until I get the solar panels facing south. Happy Valentine's Day to me, boys. The city finally approved me to have solar panels facing the south. Oh my goodness. I have got to forward this email to everybody. This email, I, this is gold. This is absolute gold right here. Oh my gosh. All right, now we finally have approval from the city. On to the next step, boys. Good morning, everybody. It is 6.30 in the morning, and it is a big, big day because my solar panels are getting installed in T-minus 30 minutes. So this will be a fun, fun day showing you guys the whole process of the installation of the solar panels on the roof. So we just have to wait for the boys to show up to get started. Oh boy, here we go. They have arrived. We got everything squared away. They came in, looked at the attic, looked at the power box, got a good game plan. Tell me when they're shutting power off, turning power back on. Now we're gonna get some power today, boys. Well, there's the whole operation so far. I'm off to Lowe's to go spend more money, boys. Hopefully when I come back, we'll uh, see some panels on the house, maybe. Well, here we are. Uh, it's been a minute. Oh, they got the racks up on the roof. How cool is that? Look at them go. Dang, they're doing lots of good work there. Dang, boys. Looks good. So the inspector just showed up inspecting their work over there. I slipped him seven dollars and thirty four cents. That's all I had on my wallet. Hopefully we pass inspection. Yeah. Oh, what's happening to there? Are you excited, babe? Huh? Are you excited? Oh, I know you are. It's the best idea you ever had. side of the house I got power coming in through the attic all the way over da, 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 da. there's a box there there's a disconnect there and then over again and then back into a new box and some other stuff that I don't quite understand because I'm not an electrician so that yeah, looks pretty good doesn't it 
Well, here it is from the street. You can barely see the the top ones there, but you can definitely see the ones that are over the garage. What do you think, Addison? Um, first, um, I didn't know what it was, and then mommy told me it was the solar panels. I thought it it meant like those tiny circle ones. No, no, no. But there we go. Kind of looks weird. A little bit. And we're not making power yet, are we, Chelsea? No. No. We have to wait for a final inspection. You're right. They come out and then they'll flip the switch on. So it's just it's all it's all in. Just nothing running. Go figure. So like I just told Chelsea, everything is installed, everything's ready to go. We have to wait for the final inspection from the county. The city gave us the thumbs up. The county was like, yeah, we'll be back. There was a couple things they have to change. So once the county gives the go ahead on it, then they'll flip the switch. We'll start producing power and I will be back with you guys in one month to see how much energy we produced and see if we actually have a zero electric bill. But keep in mind, it's February, March right now, and um, we don't get a whole lot of sun right now. But in the summertime, that baby's gonna be cranking out the power, boys. So what we have now is a breakdown of the actual electric bill every single month. So when I first started getting these bills, we can see I had a huge, enormous uh, payback or credit from the city and we were doing great everything was going fine i was i was telling chelsea hey we're gonna have this this system paid off in no time and then the city wised up again and went with a kansas law about net metering where they only have to pay me the bare basics so if we see the breakdown here from may june and july they are extremely undercutting me on what I, uh, on what I produce and send back to them. Even though they can charge me this amount here, they are only charging me this per credit. So thank you, city. I really appreciate it.